What's been the implications of IT on HR management in a generic sense? IT, I believe, has totally transformed human resources. And then let me give you a little bit of an analogy. You know, in the 1990s and into this uh, and beyond 2000, when you asked a CEO who their right-hand person was, you inevitably heard the answer CFO. Right. And then the question was, why is that? And that was because analytics data was available to the CFO. The finance uh, function had figured out how to get real-time data, you know, shipments, trends, invoices, accounts receivable, accounts payable, at the fingertips of the CFO and thus onto the CEO, so the CEO could make the best informed decisions possible for that business. HR historically had been a little bit art and a little bit science. And what analytics has done, what IT has done for HR, mm -hmm. is to really put the science into it. Uh, there's HR technologies out there now like Success Factors, Oracle, uh, Workday, that many companies are now embracing. And that brings big data to organizations. What I mean by that is I can now, at my fingertips, I know headcount. Now that may sound fairly simple, but in an organization as complex as Super Sumitomo, that used to be a spreadsheet and several days of, of cranking through and, and a lot of emails to, to come up with that. But now we, at, at our fingertips, it's, it's headcount, it's analytics, it's turnover reports, it's diversity trends, it's looking at performance records of employees who have been there five years versus 15 years. I mean, all of this is now at our fingertips. And with that information, the, the, the workforce analytics, we can make better informed decisions about how to invest in our people, how to deploy our people, how to better manage talent.